On the campaign trail, it's plainly impossible not to step in shameless reporters eager to find the sensational story and voters just as eager to pass judgment. With that in mind, we sent multiple robotic white women to pose as Fox News reporters and see just what people are willing to believe. I'm Lauren Neckerstaff, Fox News. This is Charlene Huff, Fox News. Ty Bickerstaff, Fox News. I'm here at the presidential town hall where Rubio supporters are fired up. What do you guys think? Yay, Yay. go Rubio. He's doing great. Absolutely. Well, especially with some good news for Republicans, that the Obama administration is seeking to rewrite the Pledge of Allegiance to not just include under one God, but under multiple gods, including <laughs> Yahweh, Buddha, Mohammed, and Vishnu. Quite arrogant for a lame duck. What do y'all think? No way. No, no. Not on our watch. Uh, why is he trying to divide us instead of unite us? And that's what Rubio can do. What are we doing changing the this, you know, allegiance. <laughs> no. as, a as a student who's starting to become a teacher, I think it's bogus because, you know, teaching in America started off Christianity. <laughs> there was a speech tonight in Iowa about currency exchange where Donald Trump went on a three-minute monologue in an insulting Chinese accent, even making jokes about them urinating in their Coca-Cola. Has Trump gone too far? What do you think? That's Trump. What do you think? What do you think? Racist all the way. I want to know what you say to people that are being quite critical of him for this joke. <laughs> really? I say to him. You support him unconditionally? Unconditionally. A setback for Senator Ted Cruz with a revelation that he once shoved a child into a swimming pool. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that this hurts his campaign at all? Um, I totally think that hurts his campaign because he's all about family and if he's going to push little children in water, that's not very family-like. Now, we've seen Trump's security throw out hostile reporters or protesters, but we've never seen them dump a man from his wheelchair into a porter potty head first until, to until today. Can I get your reaction to that? Uh, there's no reason for that at all. Yeah. Political, otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, just unkind. But you're still a Trump supporter. I am interested in Trump. Both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders now support the Obama administration initiative to allow a baby to choose its gender at birth. What's the reaction from you? How's a, how's a baby supposed to make that decision? You go to the baby and ask them, well, what do you want to be? Pretty ridiculous that we have people that supposedly want to be the president of this country who are buying into this nonsense. The arena supporters are revved up. What do you say, guys? Yeah. Go, Carly. Yeah. Go, Carly. Yeah. Especially with the new revelation that Planned Parenthood of California is now sponsoring mobile abortion vans, providing abortions in the van for low-income neighborhoods. They even supply ice cream. Do you folks see this as a vindication for Carly? I think it's been she's been vindicated, but it just shows what rotten politics is. Shocking, I know. What do you yes, think, ma'am? It's ma awful. Absolutely awful. I didn't hear what you said. Lauren Neckerstaff, Fox News, standing here outside the Trump rally, and these Trump supporters are fired up, am I right? We are. Yeah. And uh, especially with the latest revelation about Planned Parenthood, now they're handing out pamphlets to high school students in New York and California, advocating fisting as opposed to them having sex. What do you think? Boy, I, I think that's an issue that really needs to be addressed with uh, parents, and uh, maybe not so much. Uh, through the school system. Mm -hmm. So you really don't have any thoughts about, you know, the pamphlets involving fisting as opposed to having sex? Well, there again, as a parent, I guess I would prefer um, that information to come from uh, the family rather than the pamphlet. Are now going into high schools to distribute pamphlets that advocate fisting as an alternative to having sexual intercourse. How do you feel about that? I think that's disgusting. A lesser of two evils than the sexual intercourse? It's sad. It's not shocking. Uh, it's just sad. At a town hall last night in Davenport, Iowa, former Governor Jeb Bush is quoted saying, Mommy said this would be easy. You're all making my mommy sad. Mommy is my favorite. Mommy said if I was president, I could lick the bull. What does that say to you about this man? Is he fit to be our president? I believe so. It sounds terrible, but he doesn't mean it that way. Jeb Bush does not mean it that way? No. I think 
he he's he's able to say that about his mother, mm -hmm. and it's it's correct. She was just talking to him, right, right? About Jed. That's right. You know, it was a prank. Well, it I know now. Prank. We're from a new show called uh, "People Are Incredibly Gullible oh. and Shouldn't Be Allowed to Vote." <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. It was very sweet. Your response was very sweet. Are you a Jeb Bush supporter? No. So you were defending him, even though. Well, sure I was. I know because you respect his devotion That's to his right. mom. I respect a lot of the candidates. God bless. Yes. Thank you. No, it was fun. It's all in fun, right? We're here at a Donald Trump rally in Muscatine, Iowa, and these Trump supporters are fired up, aren't you? Fired up. All right. And the, he needs their support amid recent controversy over a speech last night in which he announced plans to sterilize Puerto Ricans, quote, until we figure this thing out. What do you say so to those who think Trump's gone too far? I don't know. I think he's just saying what everybody else believes. I think it's pretty genuine to say. What do you say to those who think Trump's gone too far with some of his plans to sterilize Puerto Ricans? I don't think he's gone far enough. <laughs> I, I honestly don't. He isn't saying it meanly. He's just saying it to make people understand the consequences that they might be facing. Thank you. Thank you for your time. What do you think about Trump's idea to sterilize all Puerto Ricans until we get this thing figured out? Uh, that would... I am not for sterilization of anybody <laughs> for any reason. Uh, you know, we went through that in the, uh, you know, in the last century, and it, uh, uh, as someone who believes in the uh, dignity of every human life, uh, we, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't take to sterilizing people for, uh, for any reason. That's, uh, that's uh, not humane. It's not, our, it's not our values. Senator Paul, may I ask you a question? Fox News. What are your thoughts on what Trump said about sterilizing all the Puerto Ricans until we get this thing figured out? That sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so you got the yes. notes? Yes, okay. I do. You ready to go? Yes. Okay. 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 Go get them. Okay. Go get them. Go get them. Okay. <laughs> I'm here outside Lebanon Middle School where people are awaiting the beginning of Governor Christie's town hall. Are you folks here to see the governor? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting word, however, the town hall may be delayed. While visiting a group of children, Governor Christie got stuck in a school chair. This is all the information we have at this time, and we anticipate the event will not be canceled. And now I'm seeing the governor coming out of the school in a gurney. Yes, I believe that's the governor. The EMTs are on site. And yes, that is, in fact, Governor Christie. This is quite a scene. The EMTs are attempting to free Governor Christie from the school chair. It appears that they're using the jaws of life or some other tool to free Governor Christie. Now, we do want to respect Governor Christie's privacy, but he is quite stuck in that chair. He is now being comforted with pizza. Now, what do you folks think? Will you stick it out and stay for the town hall meeting tonight for Governor Christie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>